Hey, everybody. Hey, well, everybody. good morning. Tucker, I haven't seen you in months. Mike Jack, ladies What's and gentlemen. What's going on, my man? Happy 6 a.m. Well, I've seen you. It's unbelievable. <laughs> Thank you so much. Everything Mike tastes Jarek like. Mike for Clayton Morris this morning. Everything tastes like Pepto-Bismol like, or something all of a sudden. Uh, how about cotton candy or bubble? <laughs> oh, cotton candy. Oh, 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 that's Thanks. probably better. <laughs> cotton candy. <laughs> Mike Jarek, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's go ahead and get right to your Saturday morning headlines, shall we? That does not look like a dog. You know, I've never had my nails done, so I don't know about that. You're so masculine. I don't no, know what to do I with probably it. should. <laughs> Goodness. Hey, let's talk about leg room on leg a plane. Room. Tucker, are you a recliner or do you stay upright? When I you're stay flying? upright at all times. I fly every week. I never recline. Number one on that list. Over the last couple of weeks, people get into fights on airplanes because you're reclining and getting on the knees of the passenger behind you. Yeah, a Miami to Paris flight was diverted to Boston because a man got really upset about a woman reclining her chair. Yeah. And then another one happened where this was from uh, Denver to New Jersey flight. And this person put in a knee defender. You ever heard of one of these? The timeline of human innovation. Fire the wheel. This is, yes, it's totally How true. can you, uh, you can't put those little things on there to prevent me from reclining? Yes, no. I can. Oh, you, you My shouldn't. college roommate, I don't because I'm afraid that I'll get. Look, you shouldn't be reclining. The, uh, the planes are so tight. There's so little space. It's about 30 inches. It is there. selfish. It's shocking to, to me that, that you do not recline your chair because you're a bigger person, right? I am, I am that six. Is Pick a different airline. You see uh, that actually JetBlue <laughs> had the most. Leg room, surprisingly. But it's relative. Yeah. And if you're taller than 5'5", five five, you're going to suffer on a plane. And so is the other so, people next to you because then your knees are going to be going like this. Creeping. Exactly. Well, why don't you recline? I don't recline because seeing that on other people. And by the way, if you can't sleep, sit. <laughs> you don't recline because you don't want to. The people. Power to the people. Just take some Dramamine <laughs> and knock yourself out. All right. Wow. Folks at home, what do you think about all this? Which side do you fall in on? Uh, email us friends at foxnews.com. So we'll get right to your other Saturday morning headlines. Here's what looks. So what about this year's incoming freshmen? What can parents do to help their kids? That debt could be even higher by the time they graduate. So here to help them out with a little financial job. Lauren, thank you so much for being with us. Yeah, thanks for having me, Gosh, Anna. That's a lot of money, $33,000. Yes. Your first tip for us is track your expenses, but probably the apps are, are more likely to resonate with these, I, this I generation. I this when I was a freshman, and I use a notebook, which I still have. How do you do that? Divvying up your loan disbursement. Kids accountable, because it's going to be burning a hole in there. Right, in their and if you're pocket. tracking your about student loans, when you when you say do the math on them, what do you mean? Graduating senior is going to make about 2800 after taxes. So do the math from there. That Absolutely. So uh, one other tip is to never quit applying for scholarships. It's not just something you need to do in high school ahead of college. Right. Every year, continue. So what do you think about having a, a job while you're in school? Do you need to treat school as, as your full-time job, or is it okay? You know, if you need to do that. Resume building and connection building as well. Absolutely, yeah. And you can explore different jobs and maybe pick a major from it. Great stuff for us today. Lauren Lyons-Cole, seven minutes after the hour on your Saturday morning and coming up on Fox & Friends.